think the T-Rex was my one true favorite dinosaur But then I stopped and realized there are over 600 more We know of all the dino names, so let us help you pick out yours From carnivores to herbivores, we even know the omnivores The Truodon was bird-like and the smartest of the dinosaurs The Microraptor smaller but could glide if it stretched out all fours Dromaeosaurus being running lizard cause they could run real fast for small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. For small hunters, these carnivores were nearly almost unsurpassed. Stick it! Please, what do you want now? Spinosaurus was bigger and had a sail running down its back. Albertosaurus is not as big but may have hunted in a pack. Chickenotosaurus was so huge, no dinosaur he could not eat. It's clear to see why they're a pod in Greek translates to beast feet. Chickenotosaurus was so huge, no dinosaur he could not eat. It's clear to see why they're a pod in Greek translates to beast feet. Oplocephalus, a tail club that it could use to whack. Triceratops used its front horns if it was under an attack. There is an Isaurus at the longest claws of all dinosaurs. The Corythosaurus crest made it the loudest of the herbivores. Another group, the sauropods, I know, with super lengthy necks. Brachiosaurus weighed so much he'd have equaled 800 treks. Amorgosaurus had a sail run from its head to its back hip. All right, good work, everyone. Good work. Show them. Dance. Dance your little heart out. Yeah, shake your tail. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Diplodocus defended itself by swinging its tail like whip. Dino dance break. Here comes the dance break. Go, 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 go. Herbivores, let's get this party started. It's really quite a simple twist, just choose your favorite features. No, wait, we'll make it a challenge and add more prehistoric creatures. It's really quite a simple choice, just choose your favorite features. No, wait, we'll make it a challenge and add more prehistoric creatures. <laughs> Some think might have been pink. Or Archaeopteryx, what science says is the first bird like Link. What's up, Atlas is the largest flying animal on file. Just remember, they're not dinos, but instead called ring reptiles. Or undersea, there's Plesiosaur, whose neck could stretch out real far. Or Archelon, a giant turtle who was the size of a car. Bigger you want than dinos, who guess you change in crocodiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. But keep in mind they're not dinos, but instead called marine reptiles. I could go on. 
on and on and on, but this song must come to an end. The time has come where you must choose your favorite prehistoric friend. Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, choose from any guy, no time span. And on the count of three, yell out your answer as loud as you can. Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, choose from any guy, no time span. And then on the count of three, yell out your answer as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Let's get it!